Hey everyone, it's me, Leslie Rogowski, the creative director for The Beadsmith. There you go, now I'm official. And I am talking to you today about our waxed Brazilian cord. First of all, the colors just get me right away. I mean, check this out. Look at all these colors. Woohoo! Hey Maria, thanks for joining me. These just totally float my boat for a lot of reasons. Wax cord is very strong and durable, archival. It holds knots really well. Um, but again, I have to come back to the colors. These are so saturated. <clears throat> so I played around with it and I made some of these adjustable waxed cord bracelets. There are so many things you can do. I got out a bunch of different colors of the cords, and uh, you can see there's a lot of them. Um, I brought out a lot of my little orphan charms and beads and things. Hey, Leslie, nice to see ya. So I have all these little orphan beads, and I brought them into these bracelets. So I have one that's just a bunch of pretty color loose cords, and I have little charms that I added. I have put beads on them. These cords will take as small as a size eight. And of course, anything goes up from there. Um, these all have the adjustable closures. Really fun. I, I, I just keep wanting to talk about the colors. But look, here's a dynamic central focal with two loops on either side. And in some future Facebook Live, I'll show you how to do this style. Um, again, just beads with knots to sort of add a little bit of texture. Braiding, this is a fishtail braid. If you want me to show you how to do this, I can do that too. And just a plain three-strand braid with a pretty focal. I mean, look at this. So I'm going to show you how to make this style bracelet using a little bit of the cord. There's my workspace. You need a scissors, some cord, a couple different kinds of beads. There you go, you can see. And the one of the benefits of the wax is that it can be um, melted in order to seal up the knots. So I'm gonna use our little mini, our mini little hottie. Is this too cute? Look, fits in the palm of my hand. Uses butane. And up here, there's a function where if you wanted to, you could push it to lock. I've taken the safety cap off here. Ta-da. Lock means when you press it, the flame will stay on. Whoops. Of course, I probably have it off. There we go. <laughs> Let's try this again. Oh, live video is so much fun. All right, there you go. You can see the blue flame there. And I'm just pushing that button, but it won't go off until I turn it off. Now when it's off, I control when the flame goes on and off by pushing it. And I'm going to do that because I wanna be able to control the heat that's going to melt my knots and seal the ends of the wax cord. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is cut I have three colors, two strands each. So I have six strands of the wax cord and I've already pre-strung a bunch of sixes and eights on here, just fun colors. Then I'm gonna bring my ends together and just lay that back down. You wanna cut two pieces of about 10 inches. These are gonna be your ends that are gonna be uh, used in the adjustable clasp and then another maybe five pe five inch piece to do your little macrame closer closure so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your strands with the beads i know is not the little hottie so cute hey tulsa is chiming in hi there thanks for joining us so i'm going to bring these ends together and i'm going to take one of my 10 inch strands and I'm gonna fold it in half to find the center like this. Then I'm going to 
bring my beaded strands and the beads will probably stay on because of the wax and I'm going to put my tenon strand the center of it right around maybe in half an inch in like a centimeter in and I'm going to tie a half hitch making sure that that sort of stays in the center whoops let's fix that so you can see I've got that nice and tight and then I'm going to make another half hitch on the other side like this there you go okay so what we're going to do now is pull those strands towards the beads to keep them out of the way and this little part here is what we're going to seal with the little hottie the first thing I'm going to do is kind of trim them all to kind of one length so they'll be maybe about a quarter inch there you go and I'm going to take my little hottie and I'm going to just touch the ends of the wax cord to the flame just a little bit can you see them melting down if it catches fire just blow it out just like that it's going to melt them down Aha cools down pretty fast it makes like a little mushroom almost like a rivet there now the two ends you see how they're attached here we're going to do the same thing to the other end the other side and I'm going to bring these in the beads in and I'm going to even out my ends and trim them Pull all those pieces away so I have an even end I'm gonna take my other 10 inch piece find the middle and tie my knots about a centimeter in from the ends just like I did before a half hitch on one side and a half inch on the other a half hitch on the other so this is on one side kind of close to the ends pull that real tight turn it over tie it on the other side okay now I will say that the wax does get a little sticky when you're first working with it and it's new but it does wear off except where you want it to stay in the knots and where it's melted so here's my end I've pulled the cords in I'm using a little hottie again whoops pull those together to melt it down and seal the ends If you're a young beater, please get adult supervision for this and ask permission to use the little hottie. So here's what we have. That's going to be like the focal of our bracelet. And you can see now how this is going to come together. Your little macrame closure is going to go right here. So let's do that. All you have to do is overlap your pieces like this. Take your extra cord. And this is macrame. You're going to be making square knots. Hey, Mary Ellen. Hi. <laughs> yes, I am live and knotting with waxed Brazilian cord from the beadsmith. So I made, I'm going to make a couple square knots. Now watch how I do this. I'm going to make, this is a backwards four. And I'm going to bring my straight piece underneath the overlapped cords and through the loop. To make a square knot around these cords like this now can you see how one of my cords is coming from under a piece of thread and one of them is coming from inside over you're going to take the over and you're going to make another four it's kind of a loose four but see like this the piece that's coming down here you're going to bring under Hi Lydia, you're going to bring under your cords and you're going to come up through that little opening that you just made so that basically you are knotting around those overlapped cords. Here I'm going to do it again. Everybody needs a little hottie Maria. <laughs> okay, the backwards four, 
the cord underneath and through the loop. And you don't have to make a lot of these. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. You don't have to make a lot of them, but you just want enough so that it has a nice decorative look. So I'm gonna make, I made like three or four of these little square knots. There we go. All right. Now we're going to use the little hottie to seal the ends. And again, you wanna be very careful not to melt the rest of your piece, right? So you're gonna trim the one end and you're gonna trim it again to about maybe a quarter inch. And then you're gonna take the little hottie and you're just going to touch it to that heat. Can You can see it shrinking and melting, right? Okay, that's all you need. It cools pretty fast. You can mush it in there to be neater. And then you're gonna take the other one, trim it. Not, not too short because otherwise you won't have anything really left to melt. So again, a quarter inch, a centimeter-ish. Just touch it carefully to the flame. There you go, you can see it melt right in. Ah! All right, and now you can see how this is gonna be adjustable. But we're not done yet. We have to finish the ends. Now this part is really fun too because here's where you can add extra embellishment. I'm gonna slide on, I have this little flower charm and I'm going to slide it onto one of my threads before I finish this off. One of my cords. There you go. So you're gonna have this little dangle in there. All right. Now to finish off the ends, the cords have a natural twist to them. And you're gonna have the two cords. You wanna take each one and twist it towards the natural twist direction so it starts to curl up on itself. But you're gonna pull it straight. And you're gonna do it to both of them. And hold them together. And then you're gonna twist them together. Whoops, other way. You're gonna twist them in the other way from what you just twisted so they stay together like this. Okay, there you go. Now I'm just going to tie a little knot together in the ends, an overhand knot, close to the end, and take my little hottie. This is so fun. And I'm going to sear the ends, melt them down so it doesn't come undone, and do the same thing to the other side. Where are you? All right, I'm only gonna put one charm on, so I'm gonna curl my cords. There's one, there's the other. Pull them together, turn it in the opposite direction. And this just keeps them, oh, sorry about that. There we go. All right, we're gonna make an overhand knot Kind of like what you did on the macrame part but there's no cords in between there you go all right this is a little long i'm going to trim it down a little bit okay one more time before you use the flame make sure the cords are kind of stuck together and mushed together there you go touch the heat to it Voila! Pretty nifty and lots of fun. And you can see, even though I was doing demos there, I can pull my, my charm down to be a dangle. One of the fun things about this is that you can not ever make enough and wear them all together. So, check it out the rainbow of beautiful wax Brazilian cord, um, Leslie Rogowski from The Beadsmith. You can find our wax Brazilian cord and lots of beads for your embellishment, plus other quality Beadsmith beads, tools, and supplies at your favorite bead seller. Bye.